What's up guys? Wanted to do a really quick update video before I start to tear this thing all apart. Um, I'm going to be taking the rear sets to the powder coaters on Monday. It is Saturday evening. So I wanted to do um, this walk around video to show you where I'm at now. A couple things that are new from when I first uh, showed the bike in the garage. <clears throat> I did finally get the uh, turn signals on uh, that night. They actually came out really nice, I think. Really small, really bright though. Let me see if I can show you real quick. And they're still visible from the front or the side. So they actually worked out pretty nice. There's my thing here. I also put a sticker from hooligansstickers.com on top of the radiator cap, which looks much better than that ugly white and silver writing that was on there. Got some new levers. Not super crazy about these. They're really wide for some reason. And you could see, I hear a lot of complaints about the, the levers hitting this and won't even go in at all. I adjusted these and I shaved some of this off here. I'm gonna clean it up with a razor blade just to, but I think it pulls completely in now. But it's just weird, they're really wide. And I don't know if it's just the nature of the way that these bars are and this big control unit here, because it does so much over the FZ09s and R1s and things like that, that they just made it so much rounder and bigger. Um, it's not a bad feel to it at all. Uh, but it's just huge in my opinion, but they're better looking at least than the stock ones. I did it. Obviously I got all my bolts painted that I wanted to get painted. So what I'm going to do, I've decided since I've got my exhaust coming in and probably another four or five weeks, it, it'll, it'll take to get here. I'm also about to get my T-Rex, um, engine sliders on. I've got the, uh, T-Rex wheel sliders on already. I love their stuff. I've had it on all my bikes. Great stuff. They have awesome customer service. I've been really, really happy with them. So, but anyways, the, the exhaust that I'm buying is not going to fit here with aftermarket re uh, rear sets. So, and I've discussed it with the manufacturer. I was looking at Woodcrafts. I actually talked to Eric Wood or Eric Craft or whatever the heck his name is. Super nice guy. was really, really helpful. Um, and I just personally don't think it's going to fit. So I'm going to take these off, have them powder coated. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and get the bars and the risers powder coated as well. I'd love at the same time to get the triple clamps done and I could easily get this top one done. That's no problem. But then I'm going to have this awkward silver one. So I don't have anything to lift this or keep it elevated up um, to get this bottom clamp off. So I'm gonna have to just leave it the way it is for right now. I actually may have an alternative way of doing something with this. So these will be the same color and then this will just maybe be it off a little bit. I, I don't know. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just leaving those alone. Although I hate the idea of it while I'm going to the powder coaters anyways, but it's not a big deal for now. Um, got my tire letters on. Those look awesome from Treadwear USA. Or that's, I'm sorry, that's their Instagram. It's treadwear.com, I think. I'll leave all the links in the description. I actually have a discount code for these guys. I've got a discount code for hooliganstickers.com. Uh, uh, and I'll actually have a few more other codes coming up. The, um, the exhaust that I'm going to be getting which I will show as soon as it comes in. I'm actually going to be having a, a, I think a 10% discount from those guys as well. So that'll be kind of cool for everybody to use. Uh, I got the Puig or Pug or whatever pegs to go on the stock rear sets. So those will be all black completely. I'm also, while I'm at it, going to go ahead and get the kickstand powder coated black and the shifter coated black. I don't figure while I'm down there might as well. I've got a black sprocket on the way and I may get this ring or this chain saver while I'm at it. Uh, just get it powder coated black as well. 
I know a lot of guys take it off, but I don't know if the train was ever to snap or fall off. I guess it's supposed to save it from going in between. I, I don't know. So maybe I'll powder coat it. Maybe I won't. Let's see. What else do I have going? Um, the RNG tank grips. These are actually pretty nice. Uh, they, you know, I go typically with the, um, oh gosh, what are they called? T uh, snake skin or tank skins or whatever they are from, I can't even remember the manufacturer now. But anyways, I have I've had those on all my bikes. I've always been interested in these RNG, so I decided, let me just try them on this bike. I have the middle one coming as well. That should be here next week. So the uh, bike will be getting pretty close to being done. Oh, and I did buy the radiator and oil guards, which are in that box right there, but they sent me the wrong ones. So, or not the ones that I wanted or that I particularly ordered. So those are going back. So there it is for right now. That's how far along I am on it. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm starting to, it's starting to really grow on me. Um, it's always been a funky looking bike, I thought, but gosh, when you get on it, you just forget about it with that motor. It's just amazing. Oh, I also have the rear cowl coming. Hoping that'll be here next week, so it'll color match. So in the in the video, for some reason, that sticker that I ended up putting on here actually matches the wheels almost identically, but for some reason in the camera and the video, it won't show up that way. So anyways, that's where I'm at. I have just under 300 miles on it right now, and I'm getting lots of stuff done to it. It's just about there, I'd say. I got to get the tune done once the exhaust gets here. Um, I'll probably get a new gas cap. I'm not really digging the silver. Um, and like I said, the protection's going to go on today. Engine protection. I don't think, I don't think at least, that I'm going to do sliders. I like the slim look of it. Like when you look down the side of the motorcycle, it's just nice and thin looking. And then when you get the... Uh, you know, frame sliders, which I get. I know why they're there, you know, I, I get it. But uh, it just makes it look funky. I didn't have them on my old R1. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do them or not. I, I, at this point, I don't think so, but we'll see. All right, guys, so that's the update. Oh, and then, yeah, the RAM mount. I put that on there for the phone. I did put a new 12-volt uh, plug in here. I don't know that you can see that, but it's a it's a dual USB instead of the cigarette lighter one. Gonna have to get new grips. I don't know what I'll go with on this one. I always go with pro grips on the R1. So we'll see. But there it is, guys. Again, just wanted to give you a quick update before I took the rear sets off and started tearing this thing apart. Tear the back wheel off because I got a black, I actually just got a stock sprocket, but it's black. Uh, I cannot stand the silver. So that's what's driving me nuts about these triple clamps. So we'll see. I will update you as soon as that all comes back. It'll probably be another week. I'm sure you guys are all sitting around doing nothing because the coronavirus is gone wild right now. And But anyways, I don't plan to be sitting around for too long here. At least going to go riding. All right, guys. See you.